Hi, and welcome back to the Loner Pad. Today we are playing the Pegasus Expedition. This is a new game that just came out on Steam today. It's a 4X style game where you have fleet management, colony management, and resource management. Um, the battles in this game are really fun in my opinion. I'm really interested in seeing where this game goes. We're going to start a new game on normal. And then we're going to go on in for the campaign. Now, I got to say, um, scenes are voice acted. In 20, 20, uh, 2262, humanity was at war. A huge sentient and hostile life form known as the Colossals was threatening the Earth, leaving humanity little choice but to start seeking refuge elsewhere. The Pegasus Expedition was the attempt to achieve that. Three powers from Earth sent their best fleets on the expedition, the rest focusing on defending Earth until the expedition would return. The Zeus Link Fleet sent by the European Union has been put under your command, Director. It is now up to you to make a difference. Officers, soldiers, colleagues. You all know very well why we are here and what we are about to do soon. First, remember this moment and remember the stakes. We will risk ourselves on behalf of everything you care about and everyone you ever knew. And when the time comes, you will be troubled. You will doubt. We all will. At that very moment, remember this. Do your best, do what you can, and it will be enough. It will be enough if anything in our power can be. There's no telling how this is going to end. But in the end, one thing will be certain that we gave it all we had. So, those are some very dire stakes going on here. Okay, now that we're on the map, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, and here's our fleet right here. We'll get rid of this. We start off with one fleet. And we are going to head on over here to the Zoka system, which is the new system we just, you know, found. So, travel over here. Welcome to the Pegasus Galaxy, Director. The Pegasus Expedition has now officially begun. A perimeter around the portal has been formed, and the main force is being moved through. So far, it's all going according to plan, you could say. Very well. What now? Right now, we can't stay around the portal for long, so we need to move into the closest star system to form up. Yes, our recon units are already approaching the Zoka system. In there, we gotta set up some infrastructure, assess the surroundings, and start making ourselves permanent. My teams are still on the other side. Once they've come through and set themselves up, we'll start making sense of all the information we should be already collecting. Oh, we are. Don't you worry, Dr. Lawrence. That does leave the question of dividing the initial systems between us and our allies. I presume the logistics would demand that. Psst. Grand Admiral Perrin, Director, sorry to interrupt, but we've got an urgent transmission from the recon units in the Zoka system. Well, what is it about? This is a rather important meeting we're having. ma'am, but it's that... Well, they've made contact. It took nine hours. Nine hours in the Pegasus Galaxy, and we were at war. They didn't fire warning shots. And we... We weren't going to take it lying down. Well, I mean, we just warped in and they immediately fire at us? I mean, what? 
What is that? Who just immediately starts firing at somebody just for warping into a system? That is, I'm sorry. It, that's like me going into a gas station and immediately getting shot at. It's like, a, I'm just chilling out here. So, yeah, I, I'm, oof, I'm not liking these guys already. Okay, so here's the battle screen. Uh, we have our fleets over on this side. And we have their fleets over on this side. And you'll see one, two, these are our current fleets. And you've got six different strategies you can use during the battle. You can do cautious advantage, which means you have two battle groups. And you can move these around to determine which, you know, where they go to first. We have frontal assault for just one battle group. Now, keep in mind, though, that these ships, while they can't all, you know, these ships will stay here, but they can fire missiles over to here. So while they can't all just group up in this one system, they can fire missiles at me. We can do hunting detachments and, you know, do like one in each and two in one. We can do a lightning strike. Then, you know, do it like this. Two here, two here, one and one. We can do a staged assault. Which is more like... You get ten damage for here. And you can see how they come in. Two here, one here, one here. Leaving this empty. So they can just shoot at us from there. I don't like that at all myself. Um, for this... I kind of like a lightning strike. I definitely like the lightning strike here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And start combat. So they're going to warp in. And then let me pause. So now we can do a couple things. You'll see this icon. This is for shooting nukes at this area at the enemy. Um, people don't like nukes. So they're going to get really mad at you for using nukes. You can also shoot missile salvos over here. Um, you get two of each um, in your fleet currently. Well, at least that's how many this fleet has. I don't know if you can get more per fleet. Maybe they're on certain ships. I'm not sure about that. We'll find out when we start constructing our fleets here. So, honestly, they shot at us. So, I am not happy about that at all. Um, what I think we should do is... Um, we've got two groups here. Two groups here. We only have one group here. I'm going to nuke the hell out of them. Then, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to shoot missiles here. And let's go. And then, yeah, you can scroll in and see what's going on here. It's really awesome like that. Okay, and now, like I said, you've got two and two. So, let's see how we're doing. Victory imminent, victory imminent. They're not doing as well as the rest of these. Honestly, like I said, they shot first. I'm nuking them. And then I'm going to save my last missile salvo. And just continue on. We're going to nuke them and just end it here. Okay. And yeah. They're retreating and that's the end of that. We didn't take too much damage there. Apparently Perrin isn't happy. So. What the hell's going on there? We've made contact with something. It appears sentient. Perhaps somewhat humanoid. Nah, you think sentient? What do you think? There's, you know, cockroaches on ships and they're just driving it? And operates heavily armed space vessels. No. Oh. They fired on sight and we returned fire. We destroyed a small unit in the Zoka system. Probably a garrison. So, whatever they are, we are now at war with them. They did shoot first, so technically they're at war with us. What would you do if an unidentified fleet appeared out of nowhere in your star system? They must be terrified right now. I tell you what you don't do. You don't shoot at them. 
I mean, that's how you start wars. I'm sorry. I just hope we didn't start something reversible. No, no, wait. Let's get it right. They started this. We were just retaliating. I mean, if you're walking down the road and you get shot at, I mean, you're in, you're not going to be like, oh, hey, wait a second, we can talk about this. No, because they could just shoot you again. What you're going to do is you're going to shoot back. They started this. It is unfortunate, but I do not see how we could have done anything differently. Again, yeah, I mean, we couldn't just sit around hoping they're going to talk eventually. First contacts like this are probably always a little tense. Well, our only first contact experience is based on Colossals, and they never negotiated at all. That is all we've experienced so far. So, what now? I still don't have my people here, but I would like to send a team to investigate the enemy remains in the Soka system. You do that when you can. In any case, the Zoka system is now secure, and we need to move in and start setting ourselves up as soon as possible. That hasn't changed. Okay, now let's go into the system itself. Oh, right, construction. Oh, no, that's right. It wants you to go over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it forces you to do certain things. Um, and I have the tutorial turned off a bit. Not enough movement points. Okay, so we first have to... Okay, oh, uh, wait. Can we do the construction here? No. Okay, intern. This game definitely needs a better tutorial. I will say that. Um, even if you have the tutorial turned on, it's kind of hard to understand exactly what it wants you to do. And the fact that you've got to strictly follow exactly what it wants you to do, I don't exactly enjoy. Chapter 1. The Shiny New Horizon. This was it. We were here with very limited time and nearly endless pressure from home. For better or worse, this was our final plan. We would soon get to see how it would play out. Well, how it's going to play out is I'm going to keep nuking them if they keep shooting at me. I'm sorry, I'm, if you give me nukes and somebody shoots at me, I'm not going to send missiles, I'm going to nuke you. Sir, our allies have now started moving through the portal occupying the nearby star systems. I hope they got better planets than we did. <laughs> so we'll, well, we've now surveyed the Zoka system, it's not exactly a paradise. Unfortunately not. The planets we have are either toxic, unstable, overly hot, radioactive. Sounds like a dream vacation. I think we get the picture. We need a foothold, pleasant or not. The second wave is almost ready to move, and we should immediately send them to occupy further systems. That means actively causing more conflict with the new civilization we've met? It does. We need some territory, and they haven't even mounted a retaliatory attack. One could say that they appear kind of weak, a state we should perhaps take advantage of. And having some depth in our defenses wouldn't hurt either. Certainly wouldn't. So, Director, the second wave is ready and waiting for your orders. Very well. Give them the go-ahead. Okay, now we're over here for the second wave. Okay, we want to do the... I want to send Zelensky in. He's got 90. So the way this works is each one has... I've got two fleets, they've got three fleets. So each one chooses who they're going to send into the battle. They're going to send in this fleet. So I want to send in this fleet. Now this is how many nukes I have, how many missiles I have. You can see, this is the fleet we used before over here. It has no more nukes, because I used both of them, and one missile salvo, because I only used one. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and fight with, um, what's your name? Leon? We're going to fight with Leon over here. Go ahead and go on in. Okay, so they have some stations here. Enemy present here and here. So we don't need to worry about the other ones, really. We just need to worry about here and here. Um, what am I thinking about doing here? I can do two battle groups. But I'd want to go here and here. Unfortunately, we can't do that. I could do a staged assault. I'm not sure about staged assault, though. There's no way to attack here. We have to go in from somewhere else first. Okay. Um, we could do hunting detachments. Have two go in here. One go in here. Two and go in here. They immediately go to here. And then go here. I mean, hunting detachments isn't bad. Um, lightning strike. What do we got for lightning strike? Uh, lightning strike, I can't get two in here. So it'd be two up here going down. I don't like that. We could just do a full frontal attack and just go nuts on them. I mean, that's kind of silly, but... Honestly, I'm going with f just the frontal attack. Yeah. That's what we're going for. Okay, pause. I'm going to nuke them and missile salvo them. Oh yeah, you saw that reduction real quick. Nuke missile. Okay, we're definitely going to win this. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Can we run them down? I would like to run them down if possible. They started this and I don't want them coming back. Okay, and um, that basically ends them 1%, 0%. Okay, um, we took almost 50% damage. I mean, that's not the best, but... And they're not going to be happy about that. I can guarantee you that. Oof. Okay, so. There's Zoka. Can we build yet? No, they're not going to let us build yet. Okay, oh, that's right. So we have another fleet over here that just came in. Oof. This is a rough battle. 88 to 13. This is rough for them. I'm probably not even need nukes or missiles for this. Let's go ahead and fight. Yeah, this is going to be rough for them. They've only got three defense groups. Hmm. So what should we do here? We can do victory at all costs. Well, we can just do cautious advance. 10 damage, 15 damage reduction. Do two battle groups. I mean, do we really need to do more? Maybe do a missile salvo over here? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to do a missile salvo over here. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to destroy them. They're on hold the line, but I mean, we're barely taking any damage to this. I'm going to, if they, nope, they're hold the line, so they're not going to retreat. Okay, so we definitely took this. Okay, and now we've got, they just went over here. Um, why did we go over here exactly? Um, I don't want to say anything, but you're not very strong. <laughs> uh, four, but that's a lot of missiles. Jesus, he came to play. Okay, I mean, it's going to make us fight, so let's go ahead and go into this fight. This is going to be a little bit rough. They have uh, more power than we do, so I might need to nuke them. 
Let's see, how do we want to do this? Do we want to do frontal assault? I'm not so sure about that. We could do a lightning strike. I kind of like the lightning strike. Okay, so it's going to make me send some people to here, right? We could do the lightning strike. We can do victory at all costs. <laughs> send one here, here, and there. Uh, I don't know about victory at all costs, but I mean, that's a lot of extra damage. Honestly, that wouldn't be bad. And they're going to hold the line anyway. Okay. Victory at all costs on this one. Okay. I'm going to immediately nuke you and send a missile salvo to you. Okay, so now we're winning this one. Okay, so how are we doing? We've got a losing battle here and winning battle here. I'm going to nuke you. I want to send uh, missiles over to here. I'm going to send missiles over to here just to confirm I win this. And hopefully they can go from here to there. Okay, so forces evenly matched, forces evenly matched, victory imminent. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see, defeat imminent, send some missiles over there now. We've got losing battle here and defeat imminent here. We've got a whole bunch of missiles though. So I'm going to keep sending missiles at them. This is going to be very close. Okay, so we're just uncontested here. Ooh. Well, right now we're winning, but they're about to overwhelm us, I think. Yeah, I think they just nuked us or something. All right, now we're losing. Let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, it is close. This is rough. This is very close. Let's speed it up a bit and see who wins. Oh, looks like we're go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is so close. This can be neck and neck to see who wins. Okay, we won. They left. That was rough. So. Now that we have bit more than the Zoka system Dr. Lawrence so passionately dislikes, we should do something useful with them. I just dislike the inhospital planetary features, Miss Jurek. Yep. So if you don't mind, Director, I'd like to show you the plans we've made to make the best use of these few star systems. Since there won't be a second chance, it's important that we get this right the first time. So please see to it, sir. Very well, Carolina. Let's go. Okay, so now this is where you build your star systems. And what it wants you to do is it wants you to build one industrial, one military, and one research. Okay, so here, let's see. We've got increases our mineral and... So, mineral and rare earth. Okay, that's great. What do we have here? This is rich rare earth. What do we have here? This is increase, increases our produ uh, science production. Okay, so what I think we want to do, I think we want to build a shipyard. Okay, so if we build a shipyard here, we get plus six people per turn and plus 10 energy per turn. Okay, if we build a shipyard here, we get the same. So I want to build a shipyard here. And then what I want to do is I want to build the industrial here. Because I want more rare earth. And then we'll go over here and build our science. Okay, dismiss those notifications. Okay. We could upgrade the command station. Well, upgrade to a command station. But I don't want to do that right now, do I? I mean, that's a lot of resources, but I kind of... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it here at the Zoka system. Okay, now let's return. 
Okay, let's see what else we can build. Is there anything we can build over here? Yes. Okay, that's got a whole bunch of rare earth. So, we definitely want the rare earth here. What I've learned is um, rare earth is very important. You want that. Okay, what do we have here? Rare earth again. We could increase science production. So, let's look at what we can do. Uh, but see, that would decrease our energy. We have no energy currently, so I'm not going to bother with that right yet. Here we've got mineral and rare earth. So yeah, I think um, we'd want to do another industrial mining. Let's go and put that there. Here we have more rare earth, but it decreases energy. I want to wait on that until we actually have energy. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to this system. Let's see what we have here. Um, there's really nothing going on here. So what I want to do is I'm going to do... We could do the industrial complex. But I want more people, right? So, I'm actually going to put a shipyard here. I think a shipyard would be really good. I can either do a shipyard or another research. I'm going to do another research. Why would you do this? Uh, well, because you can build stuff there. Right, right. Okay, I'm going to do the research. Yeah, I think definitely we need research. And then we have this one, which is rare earth. So, obviously, we want mining on this one. Let's go and put mining there. And then let's take a look at this one. Okay, that decreases energy. Let's wait on that. Um, decreases energy. Um, this is just rare earth, so we're definitely doing mining there. And then this is decreased energy. So we'll wait on that till we get energy. Okay, how's our fleets looking? He's at 86. That's awesome. They're looking a little hurt. But honestly, they can just chill for now. Yeah, they're both fine. How are you over... Oof. Oof. Oh, you are... Wow. Just wow. And This is the worst system ever. Look at this. You can't build anything here. What's the point of this system? Hmm? What's the point of this? I don't... Yeah, no. Dude, get your... We're going to put him over there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn. And yeah, we're just going to put them back there. I may disband them, considering they're so hurt. It's just better to rebuild the fleet. And since we're getting a shipyard, we can definitely do that. I just don't think it's important enough. Galactic reputation. Notice. Sir, our recent actions have started to change the way we are viewed by other factions in the galaxy. Neither Empress Solik nor the Roar clan ever cared much for us, but their views are becoming more widely accepted. We should watch our behavior. This may eventually develop, develop into a tricky situation, to say the least. Thank you, Evan. Sir, the leaderships of the first expeditionary fleet and Al Mustamara have established themselves here. In the Veiki and Sioko systems, respectively, and they would like to discuss the situation. They've called the first meeting of the Earth War Council, or the EWC for short, it is an assembly of the military leaders of the fleets. Can I participate myself? Technically speaking, you're not military, sir. The EWC doesn't represent our command structure perfectly, but its structure is essentially precisely what the whole body is for. A compromise. I'll maintain a connection with you throughout the meeting. We are not making any decision without your approval, so you don't need to worry about that. So, are you ready to send Grant Admiral Perrin there? Yes, I hope this EWC will prove to be useful. I really do too. I don't know, Perrin. <laughs> Welcome, colleagues, to the first meeting of the EWC. 
Representing Al Mustamar are the Darris Combine, Admiral Gretin Madan at your service. Admiral Samuel Reed of the 1st Expeditionary Fleet, good to meet you. I'm Grand Admiral Elodie Perron of the Zeus Link Fleet. I'm the ranking military officer, but not the highest authority in the fleet. Yes, I've heard of your interesting command structure. Shouldn't soldiers lead this kind of military expedition? The military part isn't the whole truth, Admiral Reed. Perhaps not, but we've certainly found ourselves fighting for every planet and star. We've read the reports of your first contact, Perrin. Not ideal, but hard to avoid. Whatever they are, we've hit a soft spot. I would even call it ideal. Based on the bits and pieces we've managed to translate, we're fighting a political entity called the Roar Clan, which is a part of a much larger civilization called the Maelstrock. How... And how do the rest of them view us? We haven't made contact with other clans of theirs. This is all based on the information we've gained from our rather sizable Maelstrock population the Sh uh, Shiko system. Wow, these words, I'm telling you. That's even better. If they'd want to defend this Roar clan, they'd already be here. So there's nothing stopping us from taking over everything they have. That feels a little excessive. Not to me. Our needs are excessive as well. We didn't come here to play. Yeah, we have the Colossals on our back. Does the Zeus Link Fleet have a stance on this issue? We agree with Admiral Reed, yeah. We agree with Admiral Reed. Necessity dictates that we take over what we can. Yes, removing any pockets of opposition by this Roar Clan should take priority. Very well. She is not happy about that. It's not my fault. Yeah, this is a barren area so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them over here and i'm just gonna disband this fleet tell you the truth i mean there is literally can i move them over there no i'm just disbanding this fleet i mean honestly yeah it's not worth it okay so let's see how construction is going we've got to wait until the fleet base before we can hire more admirals so, once that gets there, we can put together our own fleet, which is what I want. I mean, if somebody wants this place, they can have it, by all means, because I don't want it. I mean, seriously, I, I don't want it. Okay, we can upgrade to command station here. Um, that would provide five defense stations, but do I want to do that? Well, there's that there. Um, possibly. I mean, they've got a decent stronghold here. And they've got a command station there, too. Uh, I am not sure if I want to go there. I think we'll wait a little bit before we go there. We might be able to go here, though. In order to get here, we'd have to go through here, though. Okay, who's, you know, in a good position here? You are, but I don't want to leave it unguarded. Yeah, I don't want to leave it unguarded right now. So, hmm. I'm going to wait. Can I can repair, but I that is not worth it. Not in my opinion. Um, what I'm going to do is actually in turn here. I'm going to take, uh, let's see. Who, you? I'm going to take the one that's 45. And I'm going to send them down to here. Now, I'm just going to let them guard that. I know it's barren, but we need it to get over to here. And then we're going to in turn. Okay, doesn't look like they're attacking us, which is good. I want to get the shipyard up so I can make my own fleet. Okay, turn four up. Sir, there's something we seriously need to discuss. Very well, what is it? We've built a bunch of outposts, which gives us some infrastructure and production, but it hardly gives us the ability to settle people in meaningful numbers. 
which is kind of the point here. And to having facilities of larger scale, we need people to man them. So we need some place where to, uh, some place where to settle the first big wave of people. That's not exactly great English, but okay. We've identified a single such planet in one of the systems controlled by this Roar clan of the Maelstrok civilization. I'm telling you, they really, like, threw every letter of the alphabet in this name. It might be a good idea to grab it while they are the only ones hostile to us. Yeah, it's the bow system, not far from our current borders. Unfortunately, there aren't any sensible alternatives. So if we ever want to set up anything proper here, we need that we need that place, and we need it soon. The Roar Resistance has been resilient at times, but hardly very concentrated. Occupying this bow system shouldn't be too much of a challenge. We are really beating this Roar Clan to the ground, aren't we? They started it. If they were letting us do it, then gladly. I like you, Simon. Well, it's not exactly self-defense anymore, that's for sure. I'm sorry, they started this war. That's what you get for shooting at people unjustified. Uh, justifications are the least of our worries right now. We take what we can. Indeed. Also, there's another less urgent matter. I'd like to inform you that my research teams have finally set themselves up and are ready to fulfill their designated tasks. Which basically means whatever we or you would like to direct them to research. Sounds great. And there are many lucrative options, if I may show you. Well, go ahead, Dr. Lawrence. Okay, so they want you to sh see the technology tree, which is pretty massive. Pretty massive. So, up top, it looks like that's more like ships and flagships. Um, it looks like the middle here is more like, um, uh adding stuff to ships yeah like flagship launch bays and stuff these are new type ships looks like in the middle is um shipboard laboratory stuff like that so yeah um and then the bottom i, I did not mean that and in the bottom looks like that is more what Capture Operation Siren? Siren Strain? Um, I'm not sure what's going on in this bottom one. It looks medical, but... Uh, Medusa Strain. What? Attempt to plant the Medusa virus in the system. Each turn for three to seven turns, the virus has a 50% chance to spread to connected systems. When the timer expires, the virus becomes visible. And a hazardous area is created in each affected system, which will damage fleets that are in there. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and build this, the Pegasus Habitation Protocol, for upgrading outposts to the colony. Okay. And I think we're at a good point now to end this episode. So, thank you so much for joining me for the Pegasus Expedition today. Cheers! <laughs>